Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So, yesterday, Verizon announced another milestone with their LT Advanced deployment. If you guys remember, the LT Advanced deployment was the carrier aggregation. Verizon now has that live in 2,000 markets. And their gigabit deployment, they now have that live in 1,100 markets. That's where you can access 4x4 MIMO, 256 QAM in addition to the carrier aggregation combined to make for gigabit speeds now a lot of people have been questioning why, why verizon hasn't been very vocal about the mobile side of the 5g they've been more vocal on markets that they're going to deploy broadband 5g well i was reading an article from the new cto and he said that they truly believe that they can still make their 4G LT network better as it stands. So as most of you already know, they have the largest 4G LT network by square miles and a lot of third party testing states that they have the best 4G LT network in, in a lot of markets. So Verizon is banking on them transitioning from the 4G LT network that they're making better into 5G whereas before if you guys remember in 2010 when they launched lte they were the only ones fully committed and very vocal about lte when everyone was still pushing uh sprint was pushing wimax which was completely wrong um t-mobile was still hspa plus and at&t was also still hspa plus and verizon fully committed to lte now it's kind of the opposite everyone is kind of pushing for 5g sprint is trying to push 5g t-mobile is pushing 5g at t is pushing 5g on the mobile side they kind of you know change their plans around uh of course more of the capital investment will go towards that as well and verizon is kind of backing off from that and saying we're going to make our lte network even better more dense more fine-tuned and that is going to help us transition into a more broader 5g mobile now i'm still tracking most of that here um, this is another tower that was spotted here in el paso that i went by yesterday that is a new one so this area right here is going to be served by three towers pretty much it's a mall and then an outlet mall next to it and everywhere that you position yourself, you're going to be connected to a different sector from a tower. If you're at the bottom, you're going to be connected to this tower. If you're at the top, you're going to be connected to another tower. And if you're further on the other end of the mall, you're connected to another tower. Now, Verizon is the only carrier that has that many towers in that area. Everyone else only serves the area with one tower. So that is the type of fine tuning, densifying that Verizon is doing to really help them transition into that 5g technology with that high band and then hopefully they purchase more mid band in the future as well so i just wanted to make this video to letting you guys know that they've broke another milestone in their lt advanced deployment um, if you use verizon in your area and they've gotten a lot better and really good let us know in the comment section down below like share subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when i upload content this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.